What's up guys, Andrew Bainer here, and it is that time of the month. It is time for Bainer's Best Bands. If you're new to this channel, once a month I do a video like this where basically I show off a few songs that I've really been liking this month and try and shed light on a few bands that you might not have heard of before. So with that being said, I also do a playlist on Spotify, which you can find in the description below. I update this playlist throughout the month, every month, with the new finds that I'm going to be talking about on these episodes, as well as a few additional songs for more popular bands that I don't really want to showcase because you probably already know who they are. So if you're interested in that and you use Spotify, definitely go give that playlist a follow. It is linked in the description below, as well as the pinned comment. So the first band I want to talk about this month is a band called CU Space Cowboy. I don't really know how exactly to describe this band other than a 2019 scene band. Um, Finn McKinty, who runs the channel called The Punk Rock NBA, showed out this band a while back and that's how I heard of them and I thought they were fantastic. It's very like, I, don't, I know screamo is the wrong word, but that's almost what I'm tempted to use. It's very like chaotic, all the songs are like under two minutes long, kind of grindcore, but with more screechy vocals and not like brutal like slam like that shit if you know what I mean but regardless if that sounds like something that's interesting to you definitely go check them out here is a clip of what one of their songs sounds like and this song is called I am a transcontinental railroad please run a train on me so yeah they also have some pretty amazing song names um, if that's not any indication so this is what they sound like this is CU Space Cowboy <laughs> The next band I want to talk about is a band called Darknet. This band was brought to my attention by the owner of the label, Hollowed Records. He reached out to me on Facebook and told me about them. Um, as you guys know, if you've been watching these videos, I've been obsessed with bands like Alpha Wolf and Dealer, stuff like that, the kind of like new metal, I guess the new new metal if that's a, a thing. So this uh, band is very much in that similar vein of style. I think that they're pretty awesome. Um, they have an album which I think was released a couple years ago, so not anything too new. But apparently they're working on new stuff, so shout out to Hall Records for letting me know that I would like these guys because I actually did. And because of that, I'm going to be shouting them out on this video. So once again, this band is called Dark Net, and this song in particular is called Matter. Here's what they sound like, hopefully you guys enjoy. <laughs> shout out is a band called Brand of Sacrifice. This is a Canadian band. They also used to be a different band which was called The After Image which sounded nothing like this. However, from my understanding it's all the same members but they started something new. This is one of the heaviest songs I've ever heard and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. It is absolutely brutal and it has, still has like all these crazy dissonant leads and really like almost ear piercing screechy sounds that I always like. I think that's because I love the whammy pedal and dissonance, so this is basically perfect for me. The vocals are insane by Kyle Anderson. Um, again, if you liked the after image, this is not really the same thing at all, but it's the same members, so if you want to keep supporting those guys, this would be the way to do so. They released a brand new song, which is called Divinity, and they're releasing a new album in a couple months, so definitely keep an eye on them. This band is called Brand of Sacrifice, and here's how they sound. <laughs> So those were all the underground bands I had for this month's episode. As you can see, I have a new setup and I've been busy moving and also quitting my job to do YouTube full time, which is equally exciting and scary. So bear with me while I kind of make a little bit of changes on my channel. Don't have that much new music for you guys this month, but those are the three bands I really wanted to shout out. In addition to that, of course, Periphery released a new album and After the Burial released a new album. And they are both amazing. My favorite personal song from After the Burial's new album is called In Flux. Definitely go check that track out. Um, I definitely want to do more covers of After the Burial's new stuff because they are one of my favorite bands of all time. I would cover Periphery, but honestly, that shit is way too hard and I probably can't play it. Maybe one day. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, very quick episode this month. Once again, if you guys have any suggestions for bands I should check out, leave them in the comments below. I try and check out as many of them as possible. And once again, thank you guys for sticking with this channel. I know it's been a little bit weird the past month or two because I've been kind of 
shifting gears and figuring out what's working, what isn't, as I try to make this my full-time career. With that being said, if you want to support me, definitely go check out my merch in the description below. That is by far the way that you can help me out the most financially, just buying merch, and then you get a cool shirt in an exchange. You're not just donating to me for no reason. Also, of course, all my music is up on Spotify, which you can find in the description below as well. That's pretty much all the self-promotion stuff out of the way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these bands. Let me know what bands I should be keeping an eye out on. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time.